We can put our wheels on a normal Cullinan or put our wheels on a 458 or an 812 super fast, but working with Novatech to make a wide body to exaggerate all the angles of the car basically exaggerates our engineering capabilities on the car itself. Obviously being an automotive brand, we can customize anything that has a set of four wheels on it. So we can do trucks, we've done Porsches, we've done BMWs, we've done every build underneath the sun. So with the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, it was super special to us because it's a Rolls-Royce to begin with. Ultimately, it's up to us who builds the car and whose hands get to basically create this project from scratch. So working with a company like Ultimate Auto, uh, we actually were fortunate enough to see their facility up in Orlando, Florida. You can tell Joe and his team really hold their standards up high. We have probably the largest, nicest shop in the country, if not the world, at this type of custom work and we're probably one of the least known. We kind of fly under the radar a little bit and you can see from walking around the shop, the projects that we have and the scope of work that we do, we're one of the busiest shops that, you know, the, in existence. So for me personally, it was initial conversation at this year's SEMA uh, with Novatech and Boston of say, hey, this is the build. You know, I would love to do it. I think it makes sense from all parties and let, let's make it happen. So here we are today. So when we started this whole project, obviously with everything that's going on in the world right now with the pandemic, uh, all the shipping times and everything were pretty delayed, but luckily we secured a Rolls-Royce Cullinan uh, up north from us at a local dealership. All the parts came in from Novatech, trickled in slowly but surely, but uh, everything was shipped up to Ultimate Auto. Uh, we went up there and kind of did a, you know, a breakdown of everything to see the parts get prepped, ready for the body work. Uh, obviously, once the car rolls out, it's a completely different car. Uh, the Rolls-Royce Cullinan is already a, a work of art in its own, so seeing Novatech's twist on it and adding all the, the fender flares, the rear duckbill spoiler, the more exaggerated front grille along the bottom, everything ties in really well, and obviously the icing on the cake is the uh, SP2 wheel, so everything wrapped up really nicely. So when we were putting all the ideas together to shoot this build, uh, obviously we were really excited to debut it. It's the first one that we've gotten our hands on, uh, so we wanted to make it super special. Uh, we chose a spot local to us. We were lucky enough to be able to shoot at this particular location, and we chose it because it's a blank canvas. It's a nice neutral color. Uh, all the cement in the background, the really unique angles, it kind of follows the body lines of a Cullinan. If you look at other Novatech Cullinans that have been made and produced, wherever they may be, a lot of the options on the car still maintain the factory color. Our build was unique because we blacked out a lot of the accents, so the door handles, parts of the grill, parts of the rear wicker bill, uh, all of those options are unique to that specific car. So obviously, it's our car, we wanted to make a one of one. So, super unique, it was very special to us, and we had a blast on this entire build.